brothers and sisters. Last night, I had a dream that continued yesterday's dream about the rapture being like a cruise to paradise. Our dear Lord Jesus knows that's not necessarily the kind of vacation, so to speak, that appeals to some of you. Not all of you get excited about a vacation where you relax on the beach, for example. You're looking for something more interesting. Well, our dear Lord knows you and cares about you. And last night in my dream, while I found myself in a tropical paradise, I was happily surprised we were driving to visit multiple museums on both my mom's side and on my dad's side of the family. When I woke up, I pondered, how can there be museums in heaven when our dear Lord makes all things new? And then I thought further of the fact we were visiting museums on my mom's side and on my dad's side. We will be able to visit our mom's mom's mom in heaven. We will be able to visit our dad's grandfather's grandfather in heaven. We may chat with Moses or Noah or Abraham or Adam. We could visit a different quote-unquote museum every day for thousands of years. The interesting thing about museums is their character and the true stories they tell. Oh, we have so much to look forward to. And the events on earth matching biblical prophetic writings right now are rapidly leading up to our quote-unquote museum tour. Last night in my dream, I heard reference to Russia in the context of a war. Most Bible commentators indicate that the coming Ezekiel 38 war involves the people north of the Black Sea and or the people living near the Black Sea. Russia is gaining strength in this region, evidenced by its invasion of Crimea. And the Black Sea is a current geopolitical hotspot to watch. While Israel is feeling secure with all the peace agreements they signed this year, including with Morocco and Sudan, Russia is building alliances with places like Sudan. Now with a base in Sudan, Russia has established its first naval outpost in the continent of Africa. With Sudan being part of the Ezekiel 38 war, otherwise known as Kush. While Morocco, otherwise known as Put, just signed peace agreements with Israel, Moroccan Islamic groups are rejecting ties with Israel, describing the move as deplorable. The Ezekiel War will include these countries coming against Israel, including ancient Put and Kush, which include Morocco and Sudan. It appears that many countries are following the advice from the art of war, keep friends close and enemies closer. God will show his greatness and his holiness and will make himself known in the sight of many nations. When he defeats the massive army coming against Israel, they will know that the great I am is the Lord over all. Praise the Lord. People have asked why I dream so much. And quite frankly, I haven't answered them because I'm not always sure. Early this morning, as I was starting to wake up, I heard the Lord answer their question with a question, which is often the way Jesus answered questions. I heard the Lord ask, what if you found yourself on the top of Mount Sinai?